Now we shall go to the next table to carry out a project on flames and types of flames. So as you can see here, this is the Bunsen burner and the gas inlet is connected to a rubber tube that is connected to the gas that is put in the laboratory. So to light it, you open the gas so that it can pass through the rubber tube. And this produces a luminous flame. This is produced when the air hole is closed by the collar. This flame, as you can see, is long and wavy and it is not as hot. It is not very hot. It can light it can be used to light a room and it produces it is not preferred for heating because Because as you can see here, it pre as you can see here, it produces soot, which is not good because you cannot see the reactive changes inside the glass. Go to the next flame that is produced by a Bunsen burner. Um, this flame is the link is produced when the air hole is open. It is called the luminous flame. The luminous flame, sorry. The luminous flame is hotter than luminous the luminous flame is hotter than luminous the luminous flame. It has three zones. These are the unburned the unburned zone the green blue zone and the pale blue zone. The unburnt zone is this part of our hair, right at the bottom. While the pale, the green blue zone is the second layer from the unburnt zone. And then the pale blue zone is the third zone, which is the outer layer, and um, as you can see. Um this this flame does not produce soot, it is hotter and does not produce much light. Um, we are going to carry out some experiments to show that the pale blue part is the hottest part of the flame. This shows the, that the pale blue part is the hottest part of the zone of the, of the flame because it produces one mark in the middle and it's in the bottom. Well, this shows that the pale blue part is the hottest part of the site. And over here, pale blue is the most, while over here, pale blue is on both sides, and in the middle is unburnt gases. So, pale blue is hotter than unburnt gases, and is the hottest in the top. Okay.